short, short film, short roundup. film roundup. roundup. <laughs> But first, a quick disclaimer. On Short Film Roundup, we review short films with the utmost honesty, sometimes brutal honesty. This means we may say things about your blood, sweat, and tears, labor of love short film that aren't necessarily flattering. We do this because we believe it's the best way for you, us, and the entire short filmmaking community to learn and grow. So don't take it personally. We have all made the same mistakes on our filmmaking journey, so if it ever appears that we are laughing at you, just know that we are also laughing at ourselves. Now on with the show. Hello and welcome to Short Film Roundup. Short Film Roundup. Short Film Roundup. Short Film Roundup. Mm-hmm. Cool. Why you always got to be a contrarian? Uh, I'm not always a contrarian. Say short film roundup. Say it. Say it now. Why are you um, an anti-conformist? Short film I, roundup. I'll conform to anything. Short film roundup. <laughs> short Say film it. roundup. See? Thank I'll conform. You. Thank you. Thank you. Wuss. What happened? Damn. Did I just get psycho... <laughs> I just made it. Psychoanalyzed. Did I just get... Oh, man. I got yeah. manipulated. You were bullied. Short film roundup. Hi, everybody, and welcome <laughs> to the show. This is the place where we review short user films. submitted short films. Who are you? Ones. Me? Oh, who are you? What's up? What's up? Who are you? I'm Devon. <laughs> <laughs> AKA D. Also known as D, if, yeah. if Devon's too hard to say. Yeah. It's too hard for most people. You no, go to Starbucks people. and their freaking heads explode. They're all like, Kenny? They're like, what's your name? <laughs> Oh, I'm Devon, and they're like, oh, what, uh, but, uh, what do I wait, do with that? Wait, you you mean uh, Devon, right? I'll, I'll, I'll just write Devon. I'll, I'll just write Devon on this, and you're like, no, it's Devon. Fine, just D, and that's how he became D. Actually, I've told them my name's D before, and they just they don't understand. Uh, like uh, my name's D, they're like, they're like, and then they write Devon. What? <laughs> they write, Devon. Is there a Devon here? He has two capital letters Shut in up. his first name. I'm Kenny. <laughs> I'm Taylor. And... I'm Devon. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right. Any announcements before we dig into today's uh, short films? Announcements! Well, by the time this episode releases, we'll probably have had announcements we would have wanted to make in this episode, <laughs> but we can't make because it's a pre-recorded episode. We're doing this one a oh, week early. Guys, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh. You just took off the... the we the pulled back the or, curtain? No, because we're legit here. We're authentic. Look! No! Look. No! 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 See no, this no, black no. background behind me? No! 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 no don't space. show that! No, don't show that! No! No! no. Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> the immersion! <laughs> the immersion, Kenny! No! That was the fourth wall. Oh my god! I just broke that it. one. Broke the fourth wall. That was the fourth yeah, one, one, two, three, <laughs> four. The fourth wall. Break the fourth wall, man. Okay, on with the show. All right, yeah, let's, get let's, let's get on with the show. Okay, so we got three around. films to talk about today. Let's dig in. We do. This What's first up? one is. Uh, what is this first one? Orphy? Orphy? <laughs> Ophi? I forgot. No, it's Orphy? Uh, <laughs> Opi. Ophi. Opi. Ophi. Ophi. Ophi or Ophi? Ophi. It's, it's Ophi. Ophi is having, having, having a bad day. Ophi is having a hard day. Or having a hard time. That's what it is. Ophi is having a hard time. Right now. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Who submitted this? Uh, the, whole the whole hell. hell. Oh, gosh. All of it. That means all of hell. Yeah, that's quite... So, like, share, subscribe, make me... Narcissistwindow.blogspot.com Cool. Alrighty. Um, so it's starring this person, but it's not directed by anyone. So let's just say... I assume she made it. Yeah. So our first one is uh, Ophi. Is, Ophi is having a hard time right now uh, by a YouTuber named The Hole of Hell. Um, Hole with a W. Yes. Link is in the description. Go click it. Watch it. And then come back. Watch the movie. Yeah. And come back. It's short. We back. Bam. Whoa. Taylor, tell me a little bit about Ophi. Ophi. Ophi? Uh, Ophi is having a hard time right now. Um, So this is a movie that is it's a poem For, first and foremost it's this is poetry poem. this is poetry yeah. set to visuals that reflect the poetry and this is a movie that we've um we've all made this movie <laughs> <laughs> no. i, I kind of feel like i've made all this, of us movie. Have made this movie. What, what i mean is uh, uh we've covered other poetry based films before um, mm-hmm. In one of our first episodes, we covered a poetry-based film. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, 
and I think it's kind of a cool little idea for for films. Um, and I kind of have had an epiphany while watching this categorically that this style of film is kind of like um, music videos in in the way yeah. they're executed. That is so interesting that you bring that up. Yeah. Um, so uh, besides all the category category categorization Kitty-goo. stuff Kitty-goo. Uh, and labels, um, I enjoyed this. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. I thought um, the poetry was interesting. Mm-hmm. I liked the words and the way they flowed together and and uh, what she was saying. And uh, I thought the visuals uh, mostly matched up. It made sense. Made sense. Made this, sense to me. This is a movie I could watch uh, several times. Lots and lots of times. We did watch it twice. We did. Yep. Um, and I feel like that's a... I don't know if that's a good thing for art or not. A lot of people like to say that art is good because a lot of you get a lot of different interpretations from it. Um, I don't know if that's actually what makes good art, but it certainly makes interesting art. And this was interesting quite a bit. Um, it doesn't, like you said, it doesn't fit a label. And you are, you are for one, for not using labels. Yeah. You don't like definitions, stuff like that. Um, it was quite different from a short film perspective, but it was awesome to look at something that was made like this. I've never really seen anything like this. This is actually um, a little bit like... the. So you were saying the first film that we saw, one yeah. of the first films that we covered. I can't remember what, what yeah. it was called. Do you remember the time-traveling one? It was like um, uh, angel? another... The angel Yeah, the one? angel one. Guardian Angel? No, no, no. no. It was no. another yeah. year. But it wasn't Angel. Another year. Another, another year. year. Yeah. yeah. Black and white. Yeah, yes. So, yeah, and we were talking about how it should have been a full-on poem. Yeah. They should have just went full poem, and this that's what this was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. was mm-hmm. really interesting. Uh, and with a film like this, it's not so much about making a definitive statement as it is... Um, trying to convey uh, convey a tone or feeling a, right. a, more of an emotion right and I grasped that emotion and I remember after the first watch through we were all kind of were like we had more of our analytical hats on still and so we're like okay yeah so it it gave us this emotion but then what what else and then we had to take off those hats and go oh nothing else nothing it's else. just that it's, it's just that, that. And that's yeah. fine yeah that is that's fine, fine. Um, she felt real to me it didn't you mm-hmm. know it didn't feel contrived which is yeah. a hard thing to to pull off in a film like this especially if it's all a sort of one person show that, yeah that's so true yeah um did you say something about this shot i like this one uh i'm i'm assuming that what's going on in the background here is all just real life happening yeah. behind yeah, that's her what I'm thinking too, yeah. but it happened it just so happens that <laughs> Within the context here, it feels like, oh, look at these popular happy girls right. in the background yeah. uh, who are dressed like they're going to a party or right. something. And they're all blonde. Yeah, <laughs> and they're all blonde. So it's like the contrast actually fit. That is kind of awesome. Yeah. And it also felt like an intentional add-in that there's what looks to be a huge bottle of hand sanitizer <laughs> sticking into the frame. You know, whether you mean it or not, everything conveys intent. You know, and yeah. so that's something I spotted, and I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." <laughs> so you got these people on the other side of glass, yeah. and there's hand sanitizer over there, and she's like <laughs> isolated. So it, it all kind of made a cool image, whether it was intended or not. Right. I didn't quite, f- I couldn't quite piece together what all of her lines meant. Yeah. But again, it was more about getting into a a feeling. Yeah. Um, the one thing that could be improved that um, I think affected the overall experience of the film was the the shift in sound quality. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah, where either she was switching between mics, maybe from a onboard mic to a recorded narration or something like that. But there were two or three clips where the ambient tone behind her narration was like pretty harsh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah there was that moment where she's looking into the mirror practicing her lines right there yeah. right there yeah, and like, yeah yeah because the the voiceover drops out and it goes into on board mic whatever yeah. she used um yeah so like a Definitely uniform to think about a it, yeah. uniform mic i mean sometimes we're just we we don't have the capability to do a really good audio recording so and, and if if that's the case you don't have a really good mic to isolate your voice over whatever sound 
that's okay. Just use one mic for the whole thing, though, right. so everything sounds uniform and, and yeah. the same. There's not much contrast pulled to you after that. Yeah. 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 Um, this this is something really interesting to point out as as art and film. You know, um, I Dude. really. <laughs> Yeah, the lightning. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I, fireworks. I saw that. Was that fireworks? fireworks? There's lightning though. I don't. I think. Oh, is it fireworks in the clouds? I, I mean, I guess it could be, but it seems it unlikely red, that you'd have both. Yeah. At the yeah, same was, time, I assume it's another yeah. firework. Special effects. That would have been. A, uh, I was, I was kind of. <laughs> she did that with After Effects. She, yeah, she, she did <laughs> yeah. that. See, you can tell by the square. I, I mean, can see. Yeah. You got fireworks and lightning back to back. It's like that's amazing. Um. I, I, I just really like this whole thing about how how open this is. It's funny because we talk about this a lot, and I hate I really hate openness in movies so much because it I feel like it it's uh, doing opposite of what stories usually are in movies. Stories are like things that you say. Oh, expressionist movies are more just stuff, <laughs> and that's kind of the reason why I don't like that film. You mean you feel like stories should be told and not interpreted? Yeah, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, or, I guess it depends. Story could more or less have one meaning. It will not so much, but but yeah, I mean it's it's hard to go into. But um, Under the Skin is is one movie that I keep coming back to where I say that it's it's uh, I feel like it misses a mark because of the story that it's trying to tell. Are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not picking a fight. Mm-hmm. Sorry, mm-hmm. sorry. Okay. <laughs> um. But then at the same time, you go a little step further than uh, Under the Skin, and you get something like this, where you have just feeling, and you have just expression, you know? And and that I like a lot, actually. So you would think that in something that's this sort of freeform expressionist, that a challenge would be creating a real connection Oops. to a character, <laughs> right? Yeah. And what I find interesting is that I ended up more connected to this character than I probably did uh, in, in either of the other two films and uh, maybe several of our more recent films that we've covered. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't even really note it, realize it until the end. When this was over, I realized I was worried about her. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. character, I felt, I felt worried about the character. And I'm like, I, I want to make sure she gets some help. <laughs> yeah, she, I do too. She needs, she needs a friend right it's, now. It's funny because it leaves it unanswered. Totally. I, yeah. That was it. I mean, that's yeah. what I mean. It was after the movie ended, I went, oh, geez. <laughs> right. It Someone does, should call her. Yeah, it kind of does <laughs> end on this, like, really yeah. dark note. Or like a serious downbeat. That yeah. f- falling in love with the fishtail braid was a cool line. Yeah, I like that. And then it was over. I didn't yeah. understand. I didn't hear that. I mean, um, she sat behind someone on a bus that had a fishtail braid in her hair. Oh, and fell in love yeah. with the braid. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um. <laughs> um. Oh, I had some. Oh, I I I wonder how much of this, because it is so genuine and effective, emotionally and. Uh, like you said, it's not con- doesn't feel contrived at all. Um, I'm curious as to how much of this is based on real personal autobiographical. Experience. How right. autobiographical is it? How much of it is it just examining a theme? Yeah. How right. much of it is it? No, I your feel like true it's very personal, personal experience. I definitely it d- feel like it feels personal. very personal. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's hard to it's hard to think that someone could make something like this up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and have it be as effective right. as it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that is it is really interesting to think about. It's funny. I I never thought about it in that respect, Kenny, when you were talking about it lives off. I like that shot. I do like that shot a lot. I like yeah. the sequence of the last three shots together. I thought yeah. was actually quite effective. Looking at the window and that weird fast cut to the window and back to her and yeah. then out to here. Yeah. Was actually kind of clever editing. <laughs> it it was. gave you a sense of her being outside of herself. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean. And I li- I like the mechanical zoom here yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, a lot of it I like, and uh, I I like that sentiment we were talking about, where it leaves without answering anything, and it makes us feel like we need to now do something about yeah. it. It makes it sad. It makes it it's sad. Unresolved. Yeah, and I, I like this how this is still going. I like how we're denied her opening the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's. 
a really good way to frustrate uh, the audience. The audience. There was yeah. this. Who was it? Who was it? One of you guys would know. That said that they ma- they had the shot in the film where they had uh, a camera situated where someone else was talking on the phone just behind the corner, and the whole audience went <laughs> <laughs> to try to look on the other side. It's a fa- it's a famous thing. Anyway, something like that. I I love that you can control that kind of thing from audiences you know to put in that kind of feeling to make them feel these things yeah so that, that's kind of where you're you come from from your your designer sort yeah. of sense is you're trying to get trying to do that people to have us you want them to know have a specific feeling uh through like guaranteed right across the board well as much know? as possible yeah 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 uh, I want them to build it in their minds. Yeah. Build what exactly what you have. Exactly. Yeah. You want them to build the same thing that's in your head. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Questions. Uh, first one from me is, did how much of that shot that I was praising a minute ago with the, the girls <laughs> on the other side of the window uh, was orchestrated at all, or did you uh, – just take advantage of this, pop down, and make your shot. Um, love to hear the story behind that. You? Um, I guess I want to know your inspiration for the film. Um, what drove you to make it in the first place, your poetry, inspiration, and all that. Uh, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, um, Taylor actually uh, asked my question. I don't really have <laughs> Other than that was the inspiration. Um, and also, how'd you do that in After Effects? Wow. <laughs> is that lightning or is it fireworks? <laughs> I really want it to be lightning. I really do. Um, okay. Well, this was this was awesome. So Yeah. Yeah, you. keep up the good work. That yeah. Really good. Thank you so much. Just do send us another one. Yeah. Like, make another one. Send us it. Cool. I'm very surprised that you liked that as much as you did. Yeah. It seemed... Uh, I, I feel like maybe you've changed a little I have a little over bit. the last year I have a little bit but I think it's because of my my definition of what it is that I'm trying to say is good and what isn't um, I feel like what we were talking about before with the points of contrast type of thing where as long as your intent comes out as intended um, then that's good and if it comes out as not intended then that's bad mm-hmm. I feel like that's more of what it is so I feel like <clears throat> Four, four, zero, three, one, two, two, and zero, four are fine. I think the one, three area is where I have a problem because <laughs> I feel like you're you're intentionally making people go, huh? And that's, that's interesting. Yeah, so that's interesting that you're more okay with the zero fours. Yeah, a little bit, the, <laughs> a little bit. Threes. If you don't know what we're talking about, we're not going to take the time to describe <laughs> it. The video card thing right there, babe. right there. Yeah, click it. Yeah, click to learn about the sum of four concept. It's good. All right, on to our next movie. Thank you for submitting this. It was cool. Thank you, yeah. Hell Hole. Uh, hole hell. of Hell. Not the Hell Hole. <laughs> hole of Hell. I'm just and uh, uh, boy, that's actually the about the nicest we've been to a film in, in a while. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, let's go back to our you know shitty self. Let's go back, <laughs> yeah. back to normal now. <laughs> All right, this next one is Making a Salad, directed by Jesse Sena- Serenow. Sarah now. S- Sarah yeah. now. Sarah now. Yeah. Sarah now. Sarah now. Not as good as back. If there was uh, no W there, it'd be Serrano. <laughs> Serrano. That'd be awesome, Serrano. But, it, but it's Sarah now. Yeah, that's too bad. It's bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bad name, dude. Bad first name. Off to first, a bad start. First I'll be back. Name. I would have chosen a different name. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, okay. uh, link is in the description. Please Making click a salad. It. Please click it. Watch it. Come right back. Please. Please come back. Please. Please. Please please come back. We're back. All right. All right. Uh, Kenny. Yo. Look at that, man. It's tracked on. That's amazing. Hey. So tell me a little bit about making a murder salad. Uh, so this felt very much like uh, a young man with a camera and some time to kill and he's like I got an idea I'm gonna go make this right now 
Uh, I just got off the phone with my nephew, who was telling me his his he's uh, 13, 14 maybe, mm -hmm. and he's telling me his plans of how he wants to go to USC film school and become a director someday, and uh, what should he do? Little did he know my opinions about film school, so it sort of <laughs> opened. I think so I he got him earful. Yeah, he did get an earful. <laughs> But the thing that I told him, I said, look, if you, if you want to make it, the, the most crucial thing you can do is start making stuff today. Absolutely. Yeah. Because there are a bunch of guys, like this guy, mm -hmm. who, who are making stuff now yeah. and are learning some cool techniques and being creative. Uh, you got to just get out there and make, 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 make. Yeah. Uh, and so in that vein of, of celebrating a young person making something cool with a camera in their free time, uh, this is worth celebrating. Absolutely. Yeah, completely. And and to, with that said, I feel like that is about all we can say about it. <laughs> and, and, and the reason why I say that is because exactly what you said, because it it's very much a film that's practicing. Yeah, it's it feels film. like a practice movie. Uh, well, can we give some feedback on what yeah, could be done better? Obviously, he'll mm -hmm. want, he wants some feedback. So my, my yeah, first... Absolutely thought is what? let's go from the beginning uh so my first thought is we we have this gag here where making a murder is crossed out and salad replaces murder um other than the one gag with the the way you're holding the knife before cutting the carrot mm -hmm. um there's not a lot of like parody here mm -hmm. uh, it's not a parody on making a murder it's not a spoof Right. The, the documentary series, Making Your Murder. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I think I think the gimmick of this title actually distracts, is more of a distraction and not doesn't give it more strength. I, I would say it, so too. It also um, gives you the punchline to the whole film. Whoa. <laughs> punchline <laughs> uh, to the true. whole film right that's, away. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So we already know going in that uh, when he's – holding his knife in a menacing way that he's using it to make a salad because he already told us. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. good point. I, I like the... the uh, he sort of moves through different color tones throughout the movie. It's like he goes from this room to being in like some uh, dark blue space and then he ends up in a sepia place at yeah. the end. I, that was fun. Yeah. Um, I have a theory and I want you to tell me the truth. <laughs> Who are you Why talking to? The filmmaker? The filmmaker... Uh, my question is, why is this a silent film? Wait, 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 wait. He's sitting on papers. Oh? Why is he sitting on Does papers? Does that mean something? What's that mean? Why is there, like, a thing in front of him? Like, I feel like that's it. Yeah, what is that? Like, why? This shot looks like it has... Uh... <laughs> he just gets up off the papers. <laughs> What's the papers? Why are there papers there? Move the papers. Uh, I don't know. Um... Yeah, go ahead. Kenny had okay. a, had a you, you said uh, uh, you had silent a question. Film. Silent film. Oh, yep. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So, why is this a silent film? And is my guess right that something went wrong with the sound? <laughs> right. And you decided, hey, it's a silent film. That's cool. <laughs> uh, which you know, I I remember doing things like that myself. Yeah. It's like, oh, this sounds butchered. It didn't turn out the way I wanted. So, or did you go at this with the intention from the beginning that I want to experiment with making a, a film with no sound at all? And with that, uh, there was no crutch. Yeah, that and that that's a um, that's a great practice. Absolutely, it's like a great thing to practice. Yeah, yeah. it with, with like um, when I was in um, uh, my film club at community college, um, our first assignment that our our head dude gave us. To everyone in the class was make a 90 second film with no dialogue and just everyone do that yeah just as a, a pure piece of practice you know to tell a story purely visually in a small amount of time don't waste time don't do anything like that but making one without sound is a whole nother level of right. challenge because then you're not I mean, you're not using like fully you're not using you have yeah. to keep it interesting while yeah. being purely silent yeah right. it's, that's, that's tricky hard, yeah right? it's really hard um, that's interesting. Um, this movie reminds me a lot of stuff that I would have made when I was. You made tons of stuff age. like yeah, this, just like this. I um, watched Taylor grow up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, 
They think we're kidding. That, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, that's <laughs> literally yeah. Um, one eighty rule, one eighty degree rule. Oh yeah, was jumped a lot. Yeah, um, one eighty degree rule we've talked about before. Yeah, and there's like there's like a million videos about that on YouTube. A ton. Just yeah. look it up. Yeah, you're just, <laughs> type in one eighty degree rule. How does that work? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like this was neat. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot too. The more uh, unmotivated light. Yeah, yeah, it's right out of uh, Blade Runner. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I like the experiments with uh, tighter shots. Close up. This, this shot. This that was, was this was hysterical. That's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> we're, so so I the reason why part. so we're all laughing at this part because it literally looks like a cameraman I, bumped into you yeah he's like right in your cheek right there but for one and it looks like you almost almost laugh almost laugh yeah. right there yeah looks like you're trying not to. hey are we making an assumption that the person in the video is the filmmaker i think we are i think because, I, are. I mean I'd, i've been speaking that way but i'm gonna say do we have do we know that's the case if we don't we don't at yeah, all yeah it could not be in here in here are, are there credits I don't think there are. Because hmm. um, there is definitely a cameraman. Yeah. Right. So it's like we're talking like he's like a yeah, kid, like, but he's like... Yeah, what if... He's what like if, 18. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Let's make a disclaimer real quick. Disclaimer! Yeah. We are... Uh, we don't know who you are. We don't know who you are, but... Um, we're assuming you're young. We're assuming you're young. I'm going to find out right That's now. It. I love his uh, dolly zoom there because he just, just right fun. there yeah. he just joined a short film cooperative, cooperative right yeah. dude that's like jaws right there <laughs> what's his <laughs> name again uh, Alex? jesse serrano jesse yeah yeah serrano now i can't get over how much actually how much better this would have been if the title was different like yeah. if it didn't give it away in the title, this would have been a lot more interesting. That's true. That's really true because the whole time we would be thinking, "Oh, like, what's he gonna do yeah. next? What's he gonna do next?" But if we already have the punchline in our head, then then you no, already know he's yeah. building up menace to chop. Uh, then some, why are, why are didn't we, we say it? that he joined yeah. the group while we were watching it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He joined the Reich. Yeah, that was something funny. Uh, did his, you already approve him? I did. Um, Mr. Uh, Jason, you're Jason, right? Jason, yeah. Jesse. Jesse, uh, JC, Jesse, you, <laughs> you joined, uh, our Facebook group just as we were watching your film. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, socks on the floor. I don't see him on in here. Dude, why are you sitting on, not you. I don't know if you're the filmmaker. Dude, why is the dude in here sitting on paper? <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, you do want to keep it, um, wants to keep it clean. Oh, okay. I do like actually that the story be, if there Got know, is a story here that it takes place inside of the house and that it has to do with stuff that he has there yeah you know just what you have yeah oh uh, how about the shot at the end with the light stand next to you <laughs> i like that uh, i liked it a lot too yeah, and i was like, just wondering if <laughs> eh, screw it yeah <laughs> i'm wondering what the motivation was behind that that's all i thought that was kind of fun it's the best placement for the best lighting that's, that's just it. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want to change the angle. Screw it. <laughs> um, now there's no papers. It was symbolic. Oh. It was symbolic. Because... Uh, um, I think that's a you chair made, in a different place. You made a film, your first film, right? Where he just it gets water. Yes. This kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, it did. It reminded me of that, too. Yeah. That was me inside the film, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's why I, I pictured this person being the filmmaker. That's funny, even though there's a person here holding the camera. <laughs> Have we uh, f uh, figured out from stalking this guy a little bit? I the... can't find him. <laughs> what is I thought is you that a pan flute? Something. The pan flute on the ground. Oh, that's awesome. I want a pan flute. Are those stairs behind him? Nope. Are those stairs or a window? That's weird. Can't tell. I'm just trying to trying to snoop into your house. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this, Kenny. Do it. I would, but I got to watch yeah, D. Yeah, yeah. I got to watch D. Yeah. You got to watch me? Yep. Pretty so, I mean, when you click on him, you get an uh, empty thing. It says right? content not available. Oh, maybe he has no profile because he's a kid. That's what I got, too. 
Well, okay. Short well, who the hell are you? Cooperative. <laughs> I said short film cooperative. Yeah, Speaking so, of short oh, film he's cooperative. Male. <laughs> he's male, and he's part of short film cooperative. Oh, nice. I'm a part of that. That's cool, man. We're in the same group. Yeah. We're in the same group. What are the chances? Um, <laughs> All right. <yeah>. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Questions. Uh, let's see. I asked. You we asked got one. One. Mm-hmm. Um, who are you? Oh, why was the color change here? Who? Uh, yes. Um, after I went from there to here, now it's orange and grainy. Uh, I'm wondering if that's because now he's looking dangerous. And so we want to get that feeling of yeah, dangerous, maybe. I thought this was so you funny. You really like chunky salads, huh? <laughs> I thought that was a hot dog. I thought this, yeah, I thought it was a hot dog at first. Um, I thought it was funny how long we held on that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, okay, well, we get it now. <laughs> and I like that point of view. That was actually pretty Yeah, that actually yeah. was cool. That was a cool shot. Yeah. Um, uh, what was your intent behind this film? Did you make this as an exercise or just for fun? Or do you have... Uh, aspirations to make more films later on or is this you know, the uh, is this and a part of a series are, are we Anthology? right in assuming that you are uh young <laughs> is this you are yeah. you in are the you, movie are you 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 or are, are you, you you or are you the one behind the camera which would make more sense yeah <laughs> um this Turn. shot by the way right there doesn't need to be there just oh just, yeah, yeah that was just, a yeah just doesn't very need to be quick unimportant shot um and also oh, yeah there's another shot here I'm wondering why, if this was an editing thing right here, yeah, you stay on the shot for a while. Hmm. Doesn't need to be there, man. Don't need to. Don't need to do trim that. Trim the fat. Trim it. Trim, trim that fat. Trim it. Trim it. Trim it. All right. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Good job, man. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Make more movies. Yeah, we'll see, see you next more. time, man. Make more movies and yeah. talk to us in uh, in the group, please. Yeah. Alrighty. So our next one is called Worthy. Worthy, Worthy the Golden, the golden cut. cut. A film, <laughs> film production, production company. company. Shot, Shot on red. red. Uh, and also your logo. I see Aperture Science in your logo. Don't think I don't see Shut Aperture up. Science. Hey, hey, stop it. Don't say that. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> don't what? think that I don't see um, it. Whose logo? Aperture Science from uh, the video game Portal. 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 Doesn't matter. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> um... Third film for today is Worthy by Adam Costandi. Costandi? Yes. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, click on the link. Watch Costandi. it. Click on the link. Costandi. You click on the link. Watch it. All right, let's Come watch right it. Back. I'm ready. Do it. Wait, how are you watching this episode? Hmm? He's watching it vertical. I'm watching us watching this. Whoa. <laughs> okay. We're back from that theater. Whew. That is such a weird theater that, that it just displays dude, instructions. It's humid, dude. It's I, humid in there. It's very humid in it's there. It's a little it's disgusting. Dank. And smells a bit like popcorn. Yeah. yeah. Like old popcorn. They're serving oh. crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is Aperture Science. What the hell? See, that's what I'm saying. What the hell? It's Aperture Science. Why, dude? In the hilt. Why would you do it? Why? Why? You, why'd you do that? <laughs> Okay. Why'd you is that do what that? We're talk about is his logo. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what we're here for, right? <laughs> this is logo short logo roundup. <laughs> logo roundup. <laughs> Let's talk logos. As opposed to long logo roundup. <laughs> <laughs> Feature logo. Let's okay. review the movie. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Worthy. Uh, Kenny, what'd you think? Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> Kenny, what'd you think? That's what you're gonna do, huh? Um. I don't want to start. I'll start. I'll start. I'll be the bad guy. Uh, this this movie looked like it was a lot of fun to make, uh, but I I think it fundamentally doesn't work. So where to begin? Um, Something we should let the person know hmm? is right off the bat that when we came to the end of the credits, we spotted that the reason why you made this film. Uh huh was because you were answering a prompt from this guy. Yep. On Reddit. So, on Reddit. It's a Reddit movie. Writing prompt. <laughs> it's a Reddit, yeah, writing prompt thing. Um, I'm, uh, you may have had other intentions with this film other than just making it for the prompt. Um, but, you know, 
Just let just letting you know that's that's what we know. Yeah, <laughs> we, we know. know. Well, it was in the it was in the credits. So. We watched yeah. the credits. He was hoping he would we wouldn't watch the credits. Yeah, I <laughs> I dig the idea. Um, I, I like this. You know, we have Odin sitting at at this uh, at this table, and he looks silly, and uh, he has an intern. Yeah, that's know? funny. That's all funny. Um, and they're in suits, but they're Norsemen. Yeah, but could you guys help me understand why a film that was filled with this many funny ideas isn't a funny movie? You know, I don't. Know. I feel like I'm none of the with humor. That. I, uh, I feel like none of it is landing, and I think it comes back to the idea of jump jokes. <laughs> Let's um, talk about jump jokes. Okay, real quick. so. This is like an equivalent to jump scares, which most people are familiar with, right? And that's where you make a horror movie, and instead of doing the hard work of developing a frightening atmosphere, uh, which is takes some serious writing and directing chops to do, yeah. uh, you just have people jump out and go boo, which will startle people in the audience and uh, sell tickets. Cheapest way to scare somebody is yeah. just catch them off guard. Yep. Jump scares. Jump scare. So comedies uh, often do the same thing with what I call jump jokes. Rain. The storms are coming. Lots that actually kind of freaked me out a little bit. It did too. Yeah, I, like, I don't know if you can hear that on our mics, but uh, said we, a huge <laughs> we might not make it through <laughs> this episode. There's like a storm raging outside. I am terrified. Terrified. Okay. I was saying jump jokes. Uh, a jump joke is when instead of developing out uh, an atmosphere, a place, an environment where a funny moment ca- genuinely catches you off guard and surprises you with, um, with something that makes you laugh, it's just lining up funny ideas one after another after another after another. Yeah. You know, so like him being like, "Oh wait, so you mean all the other religions aren't uh, are, aren't real, and it's you?" And he's like, "Yeah, oh, well, I guess the Druids didn't do their job." You know, they, these are all just funny ideas, and it's hard to care about them because, again, I and I I sound like a freaking broken <laughs> no, no. record <laughs> because I always come back to this that. Um, there there's no character development here yeah we get some later yeah but without it being at the head of the movie i don't i I don't care about his confusion i don't care about him being in the dark i don't i don't care that he's dead and his jokes are not meaningful the the (laughs) (laughs) the writing prompt i think actually kind of made this a little weird i well i think that's I want to get to that. I yeah. definitely want to get to that. I, I think that's at the crux of the of the whole thing here, and that has to do with like why we make art in the first place. <laughs> oh, it's like a big it's it's a big conversation oh, that I want to get into. Um, but uh, the example that I make with jump jokes is this: like if I walked into the room with a soda in my hand, and I said, "Hey guys, watch what I can do with this soda." And I, I poured a bunch in my mouth, and then I just spit it out of my nose. That that could that'd be funny, right? That'd Silly. be like that. Uh, it could be a viral video on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but if we were at a restaurant, and maybe like there's a girl across the table that I'm desperate to impress, and we've uh, we've sort of set up this human, uh, th- this very human setting where there's all these elements that people identify with and and have empathy with, and then. Uh, I get a tickle in my throat and I accidentally spit soda out of my nose. Right. Now it's hysterical. Well, because you have context. It's yeah. completely yeah. hysterical. Uh, and not just context, you're there with them. Yeah. You're a part of that. Yeah. Like you have empathy and you've, you've, you're in that scene and place with them and so it's funny. Um, all these funny moments are just coming out of this sort of weird <laughs> setup, you, you know? You know, this is interesting. So, you know, if more you- like an SNL skit. It feels like an <laughs> SNL skit. That's what it feels like. There you go. Yeah, it does. Um, quips. Any? Yeah. One-offs. One-offs and quips. Yeah. Jump jokes. Um, when, you know when you tell somebody uh, something funny, but they don't laugh, and you're like, oh, yeah, he had to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because. Right. 
that's what makes because it because <laughs> that is what makes it funny right. absolutely right right uh oh that's yeah that's really good yeah yeah um and yeah so all that and the performances i don't think help to be honest not that they were like particularly bad not particularly bad but I, it was I more f- of delivery and i timing. felt like the delivery um, was a bit weird on some of them I felt like the gentleman with the beard, uh, the gray beard here, who plays Odin, yeah, that's good. Uh, was maybe my favorite. I think so Person too. in it. I think the intern was my least favorite. Yeah, I didn't understand what they were trying to do with him. <laughs> I mean, he he felt like an unimportant character who was given too much, too many lines, too many jokes, too many things, right? Like, yeah. and that, and that's another mistake a lot of uh, comedies make, where they're like, "Oh, it'd be funny if this guy says that," but really. How important is this guy to the story? And so it becomes a distraction. Yeah. It doesn't move the story forward. Distracting is what it was. And moving the story forward is what, I mean, you shouldn't tell a joke <laughs> if it doesn't move the story forward, right? Yeah, that's true. Was it, you say it all the time. Like anything you do, anything you see in a movie should yeah. be... Should be part of the plot. Moving you, yeah. right? It should even, move, yeah. even stand-up comedians tell stories. Right. Like right. they get up there they and they tell a story. Set a premise. Yeah. And then go into it, and then have a payoff. Yeah. Um, and if and it, and it meets it because that's because you were there, you took the journey with them. There are stand-up comedians who just stand up and tell jokes. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of them, uh, but they have to be a lot of one-off. Yeah. Things. And but uh, many of them never go very far. <laughs> like if you know, but if you think of like who are like the icons. Yeah. In stand-up comedy. Right. Uh, they don't tell jokes. They they tell stories. They tell stories. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like. Yeah, one of the biggest uh, guys, well, I guess he's not so big now, uh, Louis C.K., um, yep. literally tells people just about his life. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Um, Jerry Seinfeld, Bill Cosby. Yeah. Um, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, for yeah. sure. Uh, uh, Jim Gaffigan, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I like Norm They're McDonald. telling stories that right. build empathy. What would you say? I like Norm MacDonald. Oh yeah, he's Norm. Really funny. Yeah. I like, I've always liked Norm. Anyway, back to this. Um, the the revision of the story of his death, I didn't really understand what it. He, he and was I, like lying, I, right? He's like, "Oh, I died this way, but I'm gonna lie so that way I can get into Valhalla," right? Uh, yeah, and then. What is the meaning of these tokens and the words they say when they pull them out? Do you know what this is about? That totally went over my head. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I, I don't know so what it have to do with like mythology Norse mythology maybe. I don't know. But there's context here that is not on the screen. Right. <laughs> just being left up to inference in a movie that is not made for inference. No, it probably has something to do with North, Norse mythology. And you probably have to know about it to get it. Um, but yeah, it, that that... Really brought me out. I was like, I mean, he what? got he understands it, yeah, for whatever right, reason. and yeah, he understands it, which is weird. Um, yeah, he changed the story to to get into Valhalla because right here, I thought that was the funniest part. Was he falls and when dies? He just falls and dies, and they're yeah. like, "Well, you died like you lived, pathetic." <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "Oh, well, that's not actually what happened, right?" And then he tells this other story. I like when he tells the other. But story. But if it's a lie, why does the robber come in at the end and he's dead oh like the Wait, robber's what? dead too that was the guy who comes in that. at the end I is didn't the even burglar realize that oh is it yeah oh that's what i mean it's like a twist ending but oh. i that, but i don't get it oh, oh. I, see I, I was thinking myself i was like oh is that the robber but he didn't look like him to me this no, changes is. everything so this is his face so that's him and those are the credits Oh, that is him. Yeah, mm-hmm. that changes everything. Uh, his, so, uh, his head's bleeding. Well, how did he die then? I I don't know. And why doesn't he, he got have a bludgeoned by a spatula? Why doesn't he have a toga? Wait. So what's the twist then? I, I don't. You know, that's what I mean. It was like it's displayed as if it is a twist, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Did he die later from that spatula beating? <laughs> yeah. Look at this right here. Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, Dang! That, that was that's gory, right? That was mortal, mortal wound. Oh, oh yeah. violent! You know, so honestly, the uh, I so I I creeped a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm admit it, I creeped a little bit. 
I lurked a little bit. I looked at your, uh, the Redditor who posted this, I looked at your post, what you were talking about, um, why you made this film on filmmakers. You did that? I did. Yeah. A little weird, oh, right? That's freaky, dude. Yeah, you pretty weird. Are creepy. You're really stepping over some I'm a little weird. boundaries by going onto his public profile. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little weird. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you know, I, I, I sometimes look at Reddit posts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm why, sorry. Don't you, uh, why don't you take them out to dinner first? Huh? <laughs> Jeez. Now kiss. Gosh. Um, the, uh, what did he say? He said that he didn't like the fight scene. He said that the fight scene was a little rough. Yeah. Um, and honestly, the fight scene was the one that I liked the most out of everything. Well, to me, it felt like Cause it, cause it was it, going for comedy. Yeah. You know? and, well, it was all slapstick, and I think it all worked for me. And yeah. and because they were st- trying to stylize it by yeah. way of three hundred, yeah, know? the ramping yeah. slow mo, and I thought that was funny. But I mean, it wasn't like, you know, fall off my chair, hilarious. But it was, it was interesting. Uh, the missed knife blows are pretty are, over the top. Yeah, yeah it's that's pretty funny. Like crazy. Yeah, it's like, like he's really bad attempting. with the knife. Yeah. <laughs> right, really bad. Until then, oh man, that wow. stab. How do you do that? Yeah. Well, what's uh. <laughs> He he really was. This guy was really dedicated to getting that uh, twenty four ninety five from the from the cash <laughs> register that he's w- willing to kill somebody. Well, this is a made up story though. Yeah. Oh, oh, that. Well, is it though? The, it he shows up dead. Oh, but he shows up dead. Though. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. The, uh, I don't know. I'm the, very confused by this whole thing. The dialogue. So like when the when the robber guy comes in and he's like harassing the girl, he's like, "Give me the money." Yeah. And their dialogue exchange. And their performances together uh, were very, uh, very, 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 very not believable <laughs> at all. I, I had very. I liked that. Really? Yeah. I so, had big issues. With so that. I act. I had a lot of issues with this movie, but some of the parts I thought were pretty funny, and one of them was that. Oh, actually, okay. Now that you say it, at this part she looks genuinely afraid. Yeah. So that does actually make it harder to like. Now it just sounds dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool location. All right. Yeah, that was pretty cool that you got to shoot in there. Yeah. C- can I get into the Reddit thing now? Yeah. So okay. So Reddit. ready? Let's get tell ready them. for this. Let's do uh, it. Yeah. Get, so we're put, gonna figure out why put we on make your, art in yeah, the first place. Yeah. Put on your seatbelts because here I go. No, okay. Geez. Filmmaker, uh, you are obviously talented. Yeah. I can. You know, you got chops. There's there's plenty here on the screen to prove that. Uh, and I think you have a, a genuinely good sense of humor, uh, but this this movie isn't good. It's not. I have a theory, um, and I think this theory also applies uh, to people who participate in forty eight hour film festivals and the like. It's funny. It's, it's funny. He made a forty eight hour film also. Uh, so okay, so. <laughs> when you're making a movie from a prompt or a challenge, uh, it's a good exercise, but I think it's terrible for your art. I really do, uh, because <laughs> this did not organically arise out of you and your desire to tell your story. Instead, you were chasing a concept that came from somebody else that was more like, let's see if we can do this, right? Let's see if I can if I can do it and be the, you know the the best version of this prompt, um, and ultimately, what makes a comedy funny? What makes a horror film terrifying? And what makes a drama uh, stirring is genuineness, or as we like to say on the show, genuity. 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 Sounds better. Coined. Uh, <laughs> Coined. <laughs> Uh, and that's, I think that's also the reason why this feels like an SNL sketch Yeah, is because this, this doesn't come from a genuine place so much as like uh, the equivalent of the writer's room, right? Where right? right. you have a group of 10 people all saying, this would be funny, this would be funny, this would be funny. Okay, uh, we'll take those five ideas. Let's mix those two together. We'll put that <laughs> in the second hour, right? Um, when you take a challenge like a 48-hour film festival or write from a, a prompt that didn't come from you, um, you're not doing what the, the genie inside of you is, is pulling you to do. Yes. Um, to play a little bit of devil's advocate, just to 
I want to hear you talk the, about you the devil. For the devil. The devil needs an advocate. Um, yeah. The devil. So the devil, he he <laughs> wants to do some stuff. Right. And I, I'm <laughs> gonna try the and let him. Over here. <laughs> Play yeah. That was a jump joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what happens then when I know there is a difference here, but so what happens when you see a prompt that you are genuinely spark something in you that is genuinely makes you passionate so this could be said for adaptations right right like where, adaptations. where it's a story that kubrick only adapted books yeah and i th- i think the difference is um if you're if you if your artistic drive if you have like a deep-seated passion to put your lens on that story uh, then I then I think this all still holds water and works. Mm. I'm just assuming or guessing that the reason this film feels a bit tone deaf is because that wasn't the case. Right. Because that wasn't the case. Because it was made as a prompt and as a, a means of uh, getting a film done and getting a film done. Yeah. Now that being said, we could call this an experiment. We could. You could yeah. call it an experimental film. We it could. was like, hey, someone's going to give me a prompt. I'm going to go try to make a movie out of it. Yeah. We learn from it, and that's cool. Yeah. Nothing uh, wrong with that. Not at all. No more that. No. And <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's the best way to to bring your strongest piece of art to the screen. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Well. Yeah. Absolutely. And I and I think this is one of the. This is a person here who is a filmmaker, film practitioner kind of person, film practitioner. Yeah. A guy who likes to make films, you know, uh, I do. I do think that's what's going on here. And there are some people who like to make films, and there's other people who like to reserve themselves until they have a story, and then they want to make that story. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being either. And and but what we're saying here about art is that it is more of a uh, intent-driven thing as opposed to a practitioner-driven thing. Yeah, I I think you're. Your passion and your intent is impossible to hide yeah. when you make your film. And when it's not there, uh, its absence is impossible to hide as well. Interesting. It's nice. Deep. And that's your uh, filmmaker's thought from, <laughs> from Kenny's corner today. Taylor? Oh, sorry. Well, no, it's, it's fine. Little little Tyke's gone to sleep. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Are you done? <laughs> you done? Now that you mention it, <laughs> um, I, I like these Happy Meal hats they're wearing. I like the idea of having something like a writing prompt that sparks something else in you. Like you said, Kubrick only adapted books. Yeah. But what Kubrick did was. Uh, told the story through his lens. Yeah. Exactly, Which yeah. is why he always angered the people who wrote the story. Yeah, yeah. having <laughs> just read uh, The Shining, Yeah, you know, uh, and never had read it before, seen the movie a million times, you know, it's very, very clear that Q- Kubrick saw that and said, that's a neat idea. I'm going to go, <laughs> you know, I can do it better, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have a vision for taking this story and doing something very different. And it was a it was passion and intent, right? It yes. almost becomes, if we're talking about Kubrick, it almost becomes a remix, in that kind of <laughs> regard. That's interesting. That's really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, I had something to say about something, but it's like maybe you should take off that sailboat hat. Uh, it's not a sailboat, dude. Maybe you should take off that sailboat hat. It's not a. It's not a. You don't. You don't understand this that. boat. This boat right here. Yeah. This uh, boat no. is the boat that my sister's husband's sister's <laughs> husband is a cook on. Wow. There you go. Is it a uh, little little yacht or a? It's a fishing. Boat. It's a fishing boat. Hey, oh. You can see it on the back. Do yeah. you sail with it? There's no sails, dude. <laughs> then it's a sailboat. There's no sails. <laughs> you you take don't off your sailboat hat. You don't sail with it. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what sail means? Yeah. Wind pushing big flapping the boat sails. Sailboat. Is that a boat? <laughs> what does what it Welcome to Nautical Roundup. <laughs> <laughs> Seafaring Roundup. Um yo, your uh your oh. graphics here at the end were pretty crazy. crazy. Great. 
The, yeah. Like, like, why is so much uh, effort here? I thought that was really interesting. Uh, yeah. Or is it just because you're a graphics guy? Or you gave this to a graphics guy? Because I can tell you, someone who is a graphics guy, I do like doing stuff like this just for random. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, drop shadows. Tasteful. Tasteful drop shadows. <laughs> Look at that. And that's Spatula yeah, and that's, sword. That's fun. We made the comment, might as well repeat it here, that the credit seemed more epic than the movie. <laughs> no, that's just something that's interesting, though, because that's the that. credits didn't come from a writing prompt. Uh, right. You know? Whoa. Right. Whoa. Hey. The credits came from, came from the person, whoever made them. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and and I tend to think that what people do with the credits often mirrors how they feel about what they've done. Interesting, you know, um, hmm. because that's it's part of the it's part of the wrapping paper that you put on your movie. You know, is that the, why Taylor's never has credits? Is that why? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, I don't like my movie, so yeah. <laughs> Taylor, you need credits. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a movie without credits. <laughs> I was gonna bring up the idea of uh, practicing for film Mm -hmm. um and the idea that in fact we should do it more really (laughs) we should (laughs) practice more yeah i think so (laughs) well i mean you should never not be practicing yeah you should never not be making movies um i'm not making a movie right now actually i guess i am wow that's weird this is a movie this is a movie yeah continue Moving um, pictures. Film. I think I've talked about this. I think we've talked about this on another episode before, but I want to bring it up again. Where um, film is unique as a form, as an art form, where it's very hard to practice. Yeah. In the sense that with a guitar, you could just sit in your room and just go for as long as you want and get better. Yep. With like zero effort. Yep. Zero effort. <laughs> you know. It's effortless. <laughs> Yeah, that's how people learn instruments. <laughs> You're not a musician, are you? <laughs> I mean, it takes it takes. Uh, we get you. <laughs> you know, you know. It, get you. you it, can sit down and just dedicate you the you time. Don't need a crew. To do it, you know? Yeah, you don't yeah. need a bunch of people to sit creating around and the time you. and space to practice yeah. guitar takes zero effort. Yeah, right. and right. for the for the amount for the amount of return you get also for the effort put in the amount of return you get from filmmaking for the amount of effort you put in is insane yeah it's absolutely. crazy you have to put in a lot of effort like like um the previous film we just we just uh watched um the murder salad one where it's like <laughs> I'm, that's i'm sure you put a lot of time into that right you know and that it's not something that you can just pick up out of nowhere i mean you could you could take your phone and do something you can always do something mm-hmm. but i mean to really practice certain elements of filmmaking it takes a lot of effort it does and um i think that's where prompts can be helpful yeah in the in the sense of speeding up the process of getting to, to becoming a better filmmaker it's also the value of the short film right uh short films being a place where you can afford to experiment right. and screw up and learn from your screw ups right exactly as, as we've all done yeah uh, I just realized the golden cut means uh, a cut in film, yeah. mm. and that the aperture is probably just an aperture of a camera, not oh. aperture science. Oh yeah. So. Uh, so you thought that was a portal thing? Well, I mean, look at it. <laughs> it looks like an aperture in a camera. <laughs> and so that's you... aperture science. <laughs> that's aperture science. <laughs> Geek. <laughs> You're a geek. What a geek. But clearly, clearly they're copying a different logo that's copying the aperture. Exactly. (laughs) Oh, no. We're fools. Fools. We? Oh, sorry. All of us, Taylor. All of Taylor. (laughs) Kenny's a fool. Kenny's a fool, too. Sure. By association. Sure. Are we done here? We are done here. Um, Questions? Did we do that? Questions for this guy. We dropped a lot on him. We did already, yeah, we already asked you a bunch of questions. You don't get any questions. You already get ask questions. Um, yeah. Do you have any other films? Do you make these, do you make films uh, quite often? Didn't he say that it was his first uh, non-student film? He did. He did say that. Make another non-student film. Yeah. Do it. Don't use a prompt. Write it. No prompts. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. You don't need it. 
Our prompt no, to you, you yeah. you're, you're good. <laughs> no, yeah, this is this is like this is good. Our filmmaking. prompt to you is don't prompt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is good filmmaking. You obviously know what you're doing, so yeah, that's the thing. It, yeah. yeah, it's all pretty much technically sound. So uh, yeah, do that. It, it looks like you you've gone through film school. Do that and get back to us. Make it because of us. Yes. In fact, we'll give you a prompt here. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you this prompt real quick. Make a movie to please our curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> we have 119 fans. Ooh. Ooh. And growing. Dude, it's great exposure. <laughs> we'll give you great exposure. Ooh. I mean, the, well, we can't pay. We can't pay, but, but exposure. The exposure. On YouTube. On YouTube. YouTube. We get about 50 views each episode. <laughs> have you ever watched the news? Exposure kills people. Oh, jeez! Oh, I hear about people die of exposure. Like all sun the time. exposure. Yeah, like yeah. Cancer. Yeah, um, don't, skin uh, cancer. Don't don't expose people yourself. In, uh, in Australia. Th- thank you, that. guys. Thank you for uh, watching. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyone who's still watching, yeah. thanks. We love you. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> so much. We always uh, love please, doing this. Please, please. And I love don't watching go. your films. If you have not made a film, make a film. Submit it to us. And if you have made a film and you haven't submitted it to us yet, submit it to us. Yes. Short yeah. film roundup. I love, so far, yeah. even though we're totally mean to people, I mean we are so mean. <laughs> um, uh, they love it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I think filmmakers enjoy abuse. Yes. Is that what's it? You know, I mean, it, it just reminds you of being like a PA <laughs> in the studio. Uh, we all we all miss that. Well, you know, I don't you know. know? Yep. I, I don't really. Uh, let's yeah. uh, let's uh, let's let's uh, work our way into something. Hmm? Really quick. Oh, We're talking yeah. about our fans. We have some feedback. Okay. Let's talk about some feedback. Cool. <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. So our first feedback is, Devoid was actually my favorite of the three films. This is this is feedback from <laughs> two weeks ago? <laughs> good. But that was actually two days ago. That's good. How about... Not for uh, them. <laughs> and that's it. What about whole, oh, can whole I, Hotel? Can I say just how fucking dope the intro is? Hell Yeah. You may say that. Hell yeah. <laughs> it okay. is a good intro. Hell yeah, whole so, hell. Uh, so this was interesting guy. Abner. Abner Vargas. What did he say? He was the person who made um, the the depress- depressing film that we looked at. Anti? No. Anti? That was a little while ago. Okay, which depression film? <laughs> We've seen so many depressing films. Oh, yeah, films. the therapist one. It's one of the... Uh, oh, we just did that. <laughs> the one, sorry, the one, one of sorry, the, I'm living in the, a week listen, into the future. Two thirds of the short films that were sent are time loop movies and depression movies. Yeah. This one was the one where time loop and depression, where uh, we kept going back into her head and she was in a black void. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I like yeah. that movie. That was a good okay, one. Sorry if we don't remember the name of your film. Um, Abner Vargas says, "Thanks so much for talking about my film." Exclamation point. You're welcome. My name is Abner, and I'm the director of the film. This was my final project for class, and in a way, I had to make this film due to the hardship that I was going through. I wanted to portray all my emotions in a visual way, which is how I came up with the idea. Interesting. Hey, what happens when you don't have a prompt? Oh, when geez, you do don't something? do that. That's sorry. mean. That's mean. I'm sorry. Taylor. I don't mean it that way. <laughs> I, just, I mean, I, I actually it's okay. mean exactly People what I People like said. us because we're mean. <laughs> it's not um, personal. The disclaimer's there. It is the disclaimer personal, is there. though. <laughs> they made the movie like when we say no, don't take it purse that doesn't make sense no no no, no. I, we're I mean, criticizing death, death their of the art. author death of the author no it's personal okay. death of anyway the- he says i'm not a writer so i don't think that writing uh, uh so i do think the writing fills a bit but because i don't have much experience with it but i did not want to include much dialogue to begin with in my uh to begin with because i wanted to tell a visual story mm-hmm. um, as my writing process it was a lot of trying to express how i feel and represent how everyone around me or society in a broader spectrum was telling me to feel mm-hmm. um, i was so nervous and anxiously waiting for this sort from roundup hey yeah <laughs> um, i'm glad you were anxious and nervous <laughs> <laughs> oh, i think i think we make a lot of people anxious and nervous so i appreciate you guys taking the time uh, to include my film in the roundup I directed another film that was done for a 48 hour fest- film festival anyway. Right? Oh, well, oh. We, we don't use those anymore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, Abner, thank you so much for submitting that film. Yeah, uh, I love when we get feedback from the directors. Yeah. That's like my favorite part of the process is when it comes full circle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we have, look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. A little out of focus. Hey, that's my camera. <laughs> look at this. 
Look at this comment. <laughs> Dude, that's an essay. Yeah, we're not going to read that. Oh, my God. So, anyway, so, uh, put Taylor back in focus there. <laughs> um, anyway, so that comment was from, uh, the guy who made Captivated, Chapter 4, um, the video game movie. Um, and he basically said that he started working on the series about two and a half years ago. Uh, wow. And that number four was actually the most polished he's ever gotten with it. Um, he said that he's making a new one that he's he's making a... Supercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a supercut of all of them together with more graphics and more things. Um, and he's calling it uh, Captivated Remastered, which I thought was kind of funny because that's what video games do. <laughs> um, so that was inter- uh, we I, I can't I can't read your whole thing, but uh, but it was really interesting to f- to see your whole yeah whole entire process. All all of us read it over at a yeah we had a trip down to wherever we were going at the time. We had okay. a shoot. Don't free- be afraid to write long comments. It's like yeah. we love the in depth. Yeah, response. we may not uh, talk about it up here all the time because they are very long, but we love it. Yeah. And we do discuss it between ourselves personally. All the we'll time. We'll get in depth with it also. Yeah. So, so thank you so much for that. Um, really enjoyed that. All righty. Thank you, well, guys. This has been another fun episode of Short Film Roundup. Short Film Roundup. Number 10. <laughs> Short Film Roundup. How did your face not change? That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> sure, feel around the. <laughs> Are you still oh, here? Sure. Get this out of here. Fun. Go away. Um, right, I'm pretty sure everyone's gone now. Bye. I mean, we could probably do whatever we want now. Bye. They've been we long, could take our pants long, off. They've been long gone. What is with you and pants? Finally, man? take our, these pants off. I've just been desperate. How many times Why? do you have to take off your pants? Oh, five, six <laughs> times a day at least. <laughs> you know, I haven't said anything, but it gets really uncomfortable when. Kenny walks around the office without his pants on. Why? This makes you uncomfortable? It does. We all have bodies. All of us. It's the same stuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. That's what mine is. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine oh. then. Yeah, no, we share the same anatomy. Is it the same? Generally. It's the same thing. Exact. I get it. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> the chat We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was insane.